Hello everyone, welcome to the Smart Life. Today I have the Samsung S21 Ultra 5G. This is the latest flagship smartphone from Samsung. And I got this S21 Ultra because it is the first device to feature the Wi-Fi 6E protocol. I have checked the other devices like S21 and S21 Plus from Samsung as well as other devices from Apple. But this is the first device to have the Wi-Fi 6E and that is important for me because I need to test a lot of networking devices such as routers and so on. So in today's video, I'm going to unbox it. I'll go through the specs of the device and I'll test the 160 MHz Wi-Fi bandwidth of this device. Previously, I have only 80 MHz bandwidth device. I'll compare the speed between the 80 MHz and the 160 MHz devices. And as you know, recently I bought the Xiaomi AX6000 router. We were thinking that that is a Wi-Fi 6E router, but it turns out that it is only Wi-Fi 6 router. So I'll not be able to test the Wi-Fi 6E feature of this mobile. I have already unboxed this mobile phone at the store because they had to activate it. So this is the unboxing. As you can see, the box is very thin and that is because there is no charger inside this box apple started removing the chargers hence samsung has also started removing the charger from the box so let's check the contents of the box so this is the mobile phone itself and i got the phantom black and this device has the exynos 2100 5 nanometer processor and there is another version of the same device but it comes with the qualcomm snapdragon 888 processor that is also a 5 nanometer processor and this only for the us and china but this one is the korean model so that is the device and in the box you will get the charging cable this is a usb c to usb c cable and that's it there is some information here and that's it there is nothing else in the box no charger and no earphones so you should know that there is no earphone jack here 3.5 mm earphone jack so you need to have a wireless a bluetooth earphone and that's it this phone is not bigger than my previous one that is the samsung s10 5g let's unwrap the camera now so that's the camera as you can see there is a quite a big bump here so when you place it on the table so there is a imbalance because of the big bump so so that's the form factor and uh, now let's go into the testing i'll be testing the network speed using the huawei ax3 pro router so this router has a 160 megahertz bandwidth and it is a wi-fi 6 router now i have these two devices both of them are connected to the huawei router here so this device is the s10 5g my previous device and it has only 80 megahertz bandwidth support so the speed here as you can see is 1200 mbps so that is the problem and in this case the samsung s21 ultra has the 160 MHz bandwidth and it is supporting up to 2400 mbps currently it's showing 2268 mbps but if i get the wi-fi 6e router in the future i'll be able to get up to 4800 mbps speed so i need to test that in the future so these are the wi-fi analyzer details now let's test the actual Wi-Fi speed. I'll use the local speed test function. I'm getting around 1800 Mbps download speed. And the upload speed is 1400 Mbps. Now I'll test the Wi-Fi speed using the previous phone. Now let's test the network speed. The download speed is only 1155 Mbps and the upload speed is only 462 mbps so those are the local network speed test so with the 160 megahertz device the speed is almost double than the 80 megahertz bandwidth so as you can see the new s21 ultra has a much more speed capability that is the main reason i got this new device and talking about the form factor of these two devices i think the s21 ultra is a little bit thicker and even the camera bump is a lot more thicker so as you can see it is uh, the device is quite thicker the uh, main reason is the battery inside is 5000 milliamp hour that is quite a lot of uh, battery capacity and the camera is also a lot different it has a 100x zoom and uh, and 108 megapixel main camera and there is laser autofocus function and it has a 10 megapixel periscope telephoto camera and one 12 megapixel 
ultra wide camera and a 10 megapixel telephoto camera and it supports 8k at 24 fps recording video recording and this one supports only 4k 30 fps video recording so this is the brief review of the capabilities of the new s1 ultra 5g the world's first wi-fi 6e smartphone and regarding the camera comparison the specs comparison the features there are so many other review videos available in youtube so for me the network capability is the most important and in the future i'll be getting a wi-fi 6e router and i'll be testing with that so please subscribe if you like the video and thank you for watching i'll see you next time